Hey, it's Pastor Mike, and thank you for joining me today for this guided prayer on peace. If you chose this prayer, I'm guessing that you're dealing with a level of stress. Maybe you're feeling heavy, or there's actually feelings of anxiety. Today, we're going to believe for the peace of God to flood our lives. In the Bible, Jesus makes a promise to his followers, both those that were with him and those to come, which includes us. In John 14, 27, he says this, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Today, we're gonna believe for that gift, that gift of peace. We're gonna take Jesus at his word. Did you know that peace actually follows Jesus? The book of Isaiah, the prophet, was describing Jesus 700 years before his birth. In chapter 9, verse 6, it says this, For unto us a child is born, a son is given. The government shall be on him, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. I don't know if you know this, I just learned this recently, that the Queen of England is the largest owner of land in the world. She's the only person to own multiple countries. In fact, her influence is so great and so vast, it's called the Commonwealth. And their culture in this Commonwealth is created by her and her country. Jesus is heaven's royalty and his authority and his culture is one of peace. That's why he's called the Prince of Peace. Wherever he reigns, wherever he has leadership over, there will be peace and we can know that peace today. Prayer. Prayer is both a conversation of listening and talking. So today we're gonna start with listening. I want you to ask Jesus today What areas of your life are there where he might not be fully in charge of? He might not be fully the Lord of. Areas where Jesus wants to speak into, change, adjust. Take the next 30 seconds and ask him to point out the areas that he needs to lead in and listen to what he says. And I'll be back. I'm back. Did you hear an area? Was it whispered into your heart? Maybe you felt like it came into your mind. Maybe you're like me and there's maybe more than one area at times. Maybe it was your thought life that Jesus wants to have more leadership in. Maybe it's your finances, relationships, maybe it's habits. Maybe it's the plans you're making for next week or next month. Okay, now let's do the talking part of this conversation. Talk to Jesus now and ask him to be in charge of those areas that he mentioned to you. Ask him to be Lord over those areas and to take control. Take 30 seconds and ask Jesus to lead you in those areas. All right, let's pray together and agree. Thank you, Jesus, for my friends today and myself as we come to you. And we want to thank you for leading us so well. 
Thank you for your promise and your commitment to be with us and that you bring peace. Thank you for helping us and leading us in the areas that we just mentioned and gave back to you and asking you to be in charge of. We're reminded today of what your word says in Philippians 4, 7. It says, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Would you now give us that peace that we may not understand? It surpasses what we know and what we can figure out. But will it just flow right now and guard our hearts? Would it guard our minds? And would you take control of our lives? And as you are Prince, as you are King, and as you are Lord, may that peace flood right now in all areas of our life. We agree and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.